Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Allie, if you have not been here before, and thanks so much for watching this video. So, tomorrow, Brian and I are getting on a plane, and we are heading to Montana to visit Glacier National Park. I've never been before, and I'm so excited. Not gonna lie, I'm a little bit nervous, because I've seen several videos now of bears just wandering around our hotel that we're staying in, so yeah pray that i don't get eaten please i got a request for an updated what's in my travel bag video a couple months ago now and i finally decided that i should sit down and film this because i just packed up my travel bag haven't actually packed my suitcase yet but i packed up my bag that i'm going to be bringing on the plane and i figured i would show you guys what's in it the last time i did one of these videos was like three years ago so things have definitely changed a little bit some things have stayed the same as far as what i pack but nevertheless i'm very excited to share what's in my bag with you guys before we get started please make sure you subscribe to my channel if you have not already hit that notification bell so you're notified every single time i upload if you guys enjoyed this video please go ahead and give it a thumbs up i'd really appreciate that and leave a comment down below letting me know what else you guys would like to see from me as always with all the products that i'm going to be sharing with you guys today i'll do my best to link everything down in the description box my instagram tiktok poshmark camera details outfit details presets podcast all that info will also be down there and let's go ahead and get into the video i have this bag actually overstuffed with absolutely everything so most of the airlines that you travel on you can typically bring a carry-on suitcase one that can like fit in the overhead compartments as well as a personal bag so this is my personal bag and some of this stuff will definitely be going in my carry-on suitcase but i didn't actually want to like pick that up and show that to you guys my carry-on suitcase that i use is by bays i think that's how you say it it's a shea mitchell's brand i really really love that suitcase i actually need to google and make sure that delta accepts that size still because i know they change those things all the time i swear those bins on the overhead compartments are just the tiniest things ever we normally fly Southwest because we love Southwest. I love that you can check two free bags with them. Their customer service is amazing and I love that you can cancel a flight or change a flight without having to pay a change fee. But unfortunately, the closest airport that Southwest flies into to get to Glacier National Park is like five, five and a half hours away from the hotel we're staying in. So we figured it would just be better to fly into Kalispell, which is a three hour drive to our hotel. So we're gonna be flying Delta. I'm really hoping everything goes well. I do like Delta as an airline, so hopefully we're fine. But let me get into it. I'm just like oversharing way too much. So I'm gonna be pulling things out of here and not necessarily all of this stuff will be going in this bag. I hope you guys get where my brain's going. So let me show you guys the bag first. If you watched my what's in my travel bag video like three years ago, literally I think I did it in 2019. Um, I am still using the exact same bag, which is my MZ Wallace bag. I was a little bit nervous to spend the amount of money that it costs <laughs> to purchase this bag. Um, just because it is a little bit pricey, it's like over 200 bucks. But as you guys can see, I am still using it and it is in perfect condition. I literally don't see a flaw on it. It has been my tried and true travel bag for all of these years. It can hold so much stuff in it and I mean, I'm telling you guys, I will stuff this thing until it's like can barely zip. I have not had any issues with it ripping and I will stuff this thing until it's like super heavy and like so weighted on my shoulder, but I am obsessed with the bag. It is so great. I'll tell you guys a little bit more about it once it's fully emptied, but let me just start pulling things out. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna show you guys are my little bags that I carry my cosmetics in. Probably gonna be packing my makeup in my checked luggage just because I use like a big black bag that I'm obsessed with. That one's from Vase also. And I just don't wanna put it in a bunch of clear bags like TSA requires when you carry on those items. So let me show you guys what I have in my clear little bags in my experience TSA hasn't been very picky about it being in like a quart size bag like I think the technical rules are so don't like quote me on that I don't want to get you in trouble but this is how I do it and I've never had any issues the other part that I think maybe I haven't had any issues with it is because we have TSA pre-check and I have told everybody in my life that TSA pre-check is absolutely 
amazing. <laughs> we got TSA PreCheck I think about like four years ago now because I think it expires next year. When we got TSA PreCheck it was only $75 for five years. Basically you just have to like submit all your information for it and then you can get approved. And now we can go through that specific TSA PreCheck security line which we've never waited longer than like I think 10 minutes has maybe been the longest that we've waited in security and that's like nothing. <laughs> Normally it takes us probably like less than five minutes to get through. And the great thing about it is you don't have to take anything out of your bag. You don't have to take your shoes off, just things out of your pockets. That's really it. And it's such a breeze to go through. I've heard that with global entry, you get TSA pre-check free. So I think global entry is like a hundred bucks, but I think it's so worth it, especially because you're getting it for five years and it's only $75. That's like not much. So even if you fly like a few times a year, just to relieve the stress of going through security, I think it's so worth it. So I love TSA PreCheck. All right, sorry. The first little bag I opened, which was just came in like PR, it's from Beekman. Um, I have makeup wipes absolutely necessary i love having makeup wipes with me normally at home when i take off my makeup i use like one of those oil kind of balmy things that you just rub all over your face it's so gross but it's definitely more environmentally friendly than using a makeup wipe but when i'm traveling this is the only time that i use makeup wipes i like to have them on me just in case like I don't know it's like really hot on the plane or maybe we're super delayed and i just really want to wash my face having makeup wipes with me is absolutely necessary and i have these from simple and i love them the next little item i have is my tula protect and glow sunscreen i'm absolutely obsessed with the sunscreen and it's very important to have a sunscreen on me at all times i also have mosquito repellent when I get bit by mosquitoes, I get major crazy welts. It's not fun. So I'm not sure that we're actually gonna like encounter any in Glacier, but I'm gonna have it with me just to be safe. Okay, as far as skincare goes, I try to keep it a little bit more simple when I'm traveling. So I've got my Charlotte's Magic Serum that I can use in the morning and at night. I also have this little mini Proteiny Polypeptide Cream from Junk Elephant that I use as my moisturizer. Drunk Elephant sells their minis in like a few different sets, so I think it's worth it to grab these. And then when I'm out of them, I will just take my moisturizer from my bigger container and put it in here. So I always hang on to my little travel size containers for that reason. And then I've also got my eye cream. This is by Illumini. I got it from an esthetician, so I'm not sure if I can link it, but I will try to link that for you. And then I also bring this little mini micellar cleansing water that I use to take off my mascara. So usually I'll just wipe off all of my makeup and then any areas that I didn't like get foundation on, on the wipe, I'll just put it on here and use that to take off my mascara. And then I also have just a little one and a half ounce size of my perfume, La Via Belle. Brian gets very upset with me if I don't bring it with me. He loves this perfume. So I always have one. I just keep this one in my travel container. And then I don't know why. I just love these little spoolies for like brushing my eyebrows and stuff. So I always keep a few in my little travel bag because they mysteriously disappear. So that is the first bag. In the next bag, I have Q-tips. Always necessary for me to have Q-tips on me brian uses them too and i just have them in this little vase bag i also have a shower cap usually hotels have a shower cap on hand but we're staying like in a national park service hotel and i don't know how much of a hotel it's going to be so i always bring one with me especially because the ones in the hotel that you get are usually kind of like cheapy i also have my userin advanced repair hand cream i love this hand cream for my very very dry hands and it's probably going to be cold there, which I'm very upset about. So for sure, I'm going to be needing something to moisturize my hands. I don't know why it's taken me this long to learn <laughs> from my mistakes, but I am bringing this Clear Eyes Redness Relief Eye Drops because my eyes are so sensitive to hotel towels and sheets because they wash them with so much bleach. I will just wake up with the most red eyes ever. So I'm definitely bringing this with me. Also necessary is Aquaphor. I swear by Aquaphor, it is like one of my favorite beauty inventions ever. I use this on my lips every night. And then I also will just use it if we get any kind of like cuts or anything, putting Aquaphor on it 
it just heals it right up. I'm also bringing my Kate Somerville Eradicate Acne Treatment because I'm not bringing any like intense serums. I am going to bring this with me just to clear up any pimples that arise because they probably will knowing the way my skin is lately. And then I also have another little mini of the Drunk Elephant a Jelly Cleanser. I love this face wash. And then I also have a little mini of their Silly Body Lotion. Again, minis. Travel sizes of my Olaplex number four and number five. This is the shampoo and conditioner. So that is everything that is in these little bags. Next thing I'm pulling out is this little clear bag that I have here with my liquid IVs in them. I have talked about liquid IV on my Instagram quite a bit. I don't think I've ever mentioned it here on YouTube. I drink a liquid IV every single morning. If you guys don't know what they are, most of them are hydration multipliers. So Using one little packet of these liquid IVs is equal to drinking three bottles of water. So I drink one of these every morning, and especially when I travel, I get so dehydrated. So I made sure to pack one for every single day. And then I also have just a couple little protein bars. These are from Alani. These are very, very tasty. Just because you never know, you might need something to snack on. I also have these hand sanitizer wipes that I can use on my hands as well as on the plane. I'm gonna wipe everything down because we know COVID is just not leaving us alone. Also in this bag, I have another base little travel case that we keep our little Oral-B IO toothbrush in. Brian and I use the same like toothbrush, but there's two little toothbrush heads. We're obsessed with this toothbrush, by the way. It's so great. And then I always bring the little charger with me too, just in case. Also in here, I have my little Hero patches. Once again, an acne product. If you guys have never used these before, the first ones I ever used are from Next Care, but they sell them all over now. Um, I actually got these from Target, but they're really nice. You put them on a pimple that's like about ready to pop and it just like sucks up all the like dirt and gunk inside them. It's like so satisfying when you take it off in the morning and it's just full of all that nasty stuff. And then I seem to always forget pain relief when I'm traveling, something happens, I have a headache because I didn't drink caffeine, something, there's always something with me. So I definitely was sure to pack some acetaminophen. Also in my travel bag, I have my little hair accessories pouch. This is definitely not something that I absolutely have to have in my carry-on or in my personal bag, but there's a few things in here that I want to have in this bag and I might as well just keep it all together. So I have this little headband that I use to wash my face with, to keep my hair out of my face. I also have some hair ties. I really liked these like skinny ones. I also have a thing of bobby pins. And then I use these little clips for when I'm like doing my hair, if I'm like curling it or straightening it. And then I love these little clips for like getting my hair out of my face when I'm doing my makeup. And then the, probably the only thing that I actually have to have in my travel bag is one of these slip hair ties. I love these for just throwing my hair up because they're like really gentle on my hair. So I really, I just have that whole little bag here packed just for that hair tie, but I would prefer to keep it all together. I don't know why I'm like this but it just makes me feel a little bit more organized. I also have a brush with me because I just feel the need to brush my hair at weird random times. And I hate when my hair feels like tangled or if I'm like sweating and it just like starts sticking to me, I need to brush it out. I've got my pack of N95s with me as well because we have to be careful at the airport. And also the National Park Service sent out an email this week saying that masks are now required again if you're walking into one of their buildings. So I wanna make sure I have a ton on hand. Okay, next I have my little bag with like travel accessories in it. So first I have this little anchor power pack that I use to charge our phones or any other accessories on the go if they lose charge, which reminds me I need to find a cord for that. Actually, I do already have one. And then I always bring my AirPods, which I'll show you guys in a second. I keep that in a specific place and these headphones are fully tangled. My point is I always like to bring headphones with me because you never really know your AirPods might lose charge. And I just feel so lost if I don't have headphones on a plane. I can't tell you how many times I've had to go buy the ridiculously expensive ones in the airport just because I have to have headphones on the plane. So I like to always pack an extra pair and sometimes I'll even pack a pair that's like for 
the old kind of jack um, just so that I can watch movies and stuff on the plane too. And then the other thing <laughs> that I actually had to, I think we went into a Walmart to buy one of these. I think it was when we were in Hawaii, but this is for the car. You never really know what kind of car you're gonna get when you rent a car. And not all of them have Bluetooth. So we have our little headphone jack to plug in our phones in the car so we can listen to music. That is very important to Brian and I. So I just keep that one in my travel bag from now on so that we never have to deal with that again. This one has band-aids in it. I can't tell you guys how many times we've had to run out and get band-aids, whether it's for like blisters on our feet or some other random little cut. I always keep band-aids with me now. And then I also have like feminine products too, just in case my period just decides to come for no reason. And then I also bring a little lint roller with me because Penny leaves her hair on absolutely everything of mine. I know it's kind of like obsessive to have this many little travel bags, but I like to keep everything in their own like little compartment because I get really overwhelmed when I open my bag and it's just a hot mess. So I like keeping everything in little bags because it just makes me feel a little bit more organized. All right, this next bag has my little vlog camera in it because I am going to be vlogging in Glacier. And then inside it, I also have an extra battery with my battery charger. And then I also have my Apple Watch charger as well as my little charger for my phone. And then I'm also going to bring these little blue light glasses for the plane because I'm planning on doing some work when I'm on the plane and then obviously we're gonna be taking photos every day so if there's anything that I'm wanting to edit while I'm there just good to have my blue blocker glasses with me I will get headaches after staring at my screen for too long so I just like to have them on hand next we have the case for our iPad I found out I think two nights ago that we're not gonna have a TV in our room, which probably isn't that big of a deal to most people, but we like to fall asleep to like Seinfeld or something just easy every night. So I thought that I would bring the iPad for that reason as well, just so we can watch some shows at night. Brian uses the iPad as well, so we use this little case to carry it in. Also in here, I have my Kindle in case I want to read on the plane. And then in this little front pouch, we just have the charger for the iPad. This next case is for my MacBook. I actually just got this one from Amazon. So in the first big pouch, obviously I have my MacBook. And then what I really like about this case is it has all these nice little pouches in the front. So in this first one, I have my MacBook charger as well as the memory card reader for our camera. And then in this little pouch here, I have the little adapter for another kind of memory card that we use. And then on this bottom pouch, I have my hard drive. What's nice about this also is there's like little pouches on the inside of these you can see so I have a bunch of memory cards in here and then I forgot to mention in this little pouch there's also a slot for a pen I swear I've been on planes so many times and there's something that you need to be filling out it's typically usually just with international stuff or customs but I figured it would be just wise to keep a pen in there at all times because you just never know when you're gonna need something to write with. I have my corksicle, my handy dandy little corksicle. As you guys know, if you've ever flown before, you can't bring like a whole water bottle full like this. So typically we'll drink as much as we can, dump it, and then once we get through security, we'll fill it up right away. I just like to have water with me at all times. I think it's just smart to do that. And then typically after we land, we'll hit up a grocery store for a couple huge jugs of water. Cause that is one of the biggest frustrations of mine was staying in a hotel. Typically hotels don't have like any good spots for drinking water. Like there's no water in the hotel for you to get unless you like purchase it from the mini bar. It's super frustrating. Very, very important essential for me is bringing an extra change of clothes. So in this little travel pack that I have here from Cal Pack, I love these by the way, I have two packs of them and they're so nice for organizing. In here I have an extra tank top, I have a pair of sweatpants, I have a sweatshirt and a pair of jeans. I usually will just pack this depending on like where we're going. Since we're going to Montana, it's gonna be a little bit cooler there. I wanted to mainly pack warmer clothes. And then in the little pouch in the back, I have some fuzzy socks and then I have an extra bra and a few pairs of underwear, again, just in case. 
Our luggage got lost when we went to Paris a f four or five years ago. It's never happened to me before um, when we've actually landed in a place. It's happened one other time when we came home. Um, thankfully, they found our luggage, but it, it took like five or six days. So thankfully, I had an extra change of clothes, but Brian did not. We learned the hard way with that and we had to end up going out and buying stuff since our luggage was lost and thankfully the airline reimbursed us for it. You never know what's gonna happen. So I like to bring an extra change of clothes with me. Everything is pretty much emptied out of here. Let me show you guys actually what I have inside this bag. So in here, there's a little pouch that I keep my phone in. And then I also have my little case for my sunglasses here. On the other side of the bag, there is this little zipper pouch. So in here, I have a little pack of Kleenex. I have my AirPods in here just because it's really nice and handy that way. And then I also have my wallet. If I'm flying internationally, I will bring my bigger travel wallet that has like slots for my passport and my ID. But since we're staying in the States, I just threw in my wallet that I use every day. And the last thing that I have inside the little pouch, inside the pouch, is just a little honest hand sanitizer spray. I know I already have those hand sanitizer wipes, but sometimes I like to just quickly spray it on and just wash my hands that way. But that is everything that is in here. If I am gonna be on a longer flight, I will try and pack an eye mask as well. I have one I think that I just got on Amazon that's like perfect for just keeping it super dark in the plane. And then I also will bring like a travel neck pillow if I know that I'm gonna be sleeping on the plane. And then the last thing that I probably should grab, we probably will just get some when we land because I don't have any on hand. I like to bring melatonin with me. I don't sleep very well when I'm traveling and a good night's sleep is so important when you're traveling. You just don't want to feel like groggy and exhausted the next day. So I will also try and bring melatonin with me. All right, you guys, now that I've emptied everything out, that is what's in my travel bag. If there is anything that you guys feel that is a necessary staple item for you to bring in your travel bag, definitely leave a comment down below and let me know what it is because I'm always trying to like make this process a little bit easier, smoother, and just have everything that I need with me. And like I said, I won't carry absolutely all of these things in this one bag. I will definitely be putting a lot of this stuff in my carry-on as well, but I haven't packed everything else yet, and I actually really need to get to that, so I should probably stop this video now. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I'd so appreciate that. And as always, I really hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.